Hello and welcome to Living Waters where scripture meets life. Today we shall look into two very short parables with which Jesus told to illustrate and to explain one important principle of his kingdom. We find it in Matthew chapter 9, Mark chapter 2 and also in Luke chapter 5. Let me read it for you from Luke chapter 5 verse 36 onwards. No one tears a piece from a new garment and puts it on an old garment. If he does, he will tear the new and the piece from the new will not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wine skins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled and the skins will be destroyed. But new wine must be put into fresh wine skins. and no one after drinking old wine desires new for he says the old is good to understand this parable we need to first get it get its immediate context right the pharisees and other religious leaders were constantly trying to find fault with with jesus and his teachings once they questioned jesus by saying the disciples of john fast often often and of a prayers and so do the disciples of the pharisees but yours eat and drink and in verse 33 uh, to this allegation jesus replied can you make wedding guests fast when the bridegroom is with them the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them and then they will fast in those days there is again an old testament uh, reality that we need to understand regarding fasting The Old Testament is prescribes only one mandatory fasting which is on the day of atonement. All the other examples of fasting that we find in the Old Testament were optional. But over time the Pharisees in the process of implementing their their own legalistic self-righteous man-centered man-made uh, religious system prescribed fasting for 2 days every week. they were trying to mix the old ways with the new way of life taught by Jesus in the kingdom they were asking Jesus why don't your disciples follow you yes they can follow you but while keeping all the rabbinic traditions why don't you let your disciples keep all the ceremonial fasting and the sabbath regulations that we practice and Jesus gives this parable as his reply when the old coat is torn no one uses new cloth to patch the old one because after a few washings the new cloth cloth will shrink and then the defect will be even worse and also the new cloth new coat is also destroyed in the process and no one uh, puts new wine in old wine skins why because upon storage wine ferments and expands and the new wine skins also stretch and accommodate the expanding wine but if the new wine is stored in old skin which is already stretched to the maximum upon fermentation it will burst being incapable of further stretching similarly we cannot put the way of christ the new covenant the gospel on top of the jewish religion the man made rabbinic traditions for that matter any other religion or any other philosophy because the gospel comes from god and none of the man made systems can be mixed with it now how do we apply this parable claiming to be children of god and followers of christ many of us are are trying to patch up our old ways of life with the gospel I I know many people who claim to believe in Christ but still they cling on to the various traditions and means uh to merit God's favor and blessings forgetting that by grace alone through faith alone in Christ alone we have all we need all the blessings from the father some of us live a life as worldly as possible and at the same time wants all that Christ offers trying to enjoy all the world all that the world offers all through their life and finally somehow also they want to be able to enjoy heaven 
may not even wanting to enjoy heaven but somehow just avoid hell if the pattern of our life is one like these then we have not known christ and as in matthew 7 we read jesus will one day say to us i never knew you the new life in christ is not a sinless life yes but it's an altogether new life if anyone is in christ he is a new creation and he will not serve two masters